Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 15 of my experimental Alpha 17 7 Day Style Let's Play. <laughs> After last episode, I bet you were wondering, is she gonna come back? <laughs> yeah, that was pretty awful. Um, the first part of the ward went pretty well, but at the night, um, they they sort of broke through. Uh, uh, see, I still have the day buff, or the, the death buff, and just turned daytime. It's only been like a few game hours. Uh, I got the concrete and the cobblestone and was down there re just repairing things up. Um, just demolishing some blocks and replacing them with the poles. Filling in some of the, the holes with the poles. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... Um, I haven't gone to the outer rings. I, I was able to get to some of them. Um, with, yeah, this is like the, nope, that's not the hole. This is the hole where they came from. Uh, no, they can't fit through there. Uh, that's the original one, but yeah, that was that was the pole. That was the hole right there. They broke those blocks and then came right in. Oh, uh, pronto, we're going to have to get this uh, top layer upgraded to concrete. Even these wood blocks, uh, maybe even upgrade that hatch. And remember to leave it shut. <laughs> Uh, yeah, because that created a problem, and even after I was down there, uh, after I died, I died, like, right up here to a cop. Uh, a couple of guys had come in, and I was down, hanging on the ladder, shooting at them, minding my own business. I got them killed, and I came down to assess the damage uh, all the way, and a cop came running in. I panicked, uh, backed over here. I think I got one good hit in with my hammer but uh, <laughs> maybe a couple but as I fell he fell too uh, I don't know if he just got back up um, or if I had killed him but my bag dropped there and I respawned under there and then more zombies came in I don't know where the heck they came from it was well after, I, I believe it was after midnight, uh, otherwise I wouldn't have tried to come down here. Um, but once I spawned down there, they busted out these blocks and then busted two of those out. It looked like they were literally spawning from my campfire down here. Uh, I didn't know that they had busted through down here, so they were just popping right there. Oops. Uh... So yeah, we're we're pretty much gonna be building with nothing but concrete uh, from now on. Oh yes, we got that thousand. Ah. So I haven't really had much time to gather anything. I only have thirteen hundred stone. Definitely a thing. Oh, boop. Uh, that's gonna take a while though, so let's go ahead and get it going. Oh, I need to show you that hobo stew. It. <laughs> I thought it would be way better, you know, like on par with the the sham chowder, uh, but, uh, oh, matter of fact, it's, it's so much easier for them to go down than up. Is this broke? Uh, so I'm going to relocate my bed to the upstairs because it's going to be a lot harder for them to get up than it is for them to go down. Uh, oh, shush you. So we're just going to put it right there, right there. Excellent. <laughs> okay, so we're probably going to need... Um, 
let's go ahead and make um, some concrete blocks. I need to make another cement mixer. That would be swell. Uh, but we don't really have any cement to mix right now. We just want the wet concrete blocks. We can make 131. That's because we have it. Oh, Let's make 50 for right now. Um, we're probably going to need to make some more cobblestone. Uh, to at least, you know, upgrade those blocks and repair these. Uh, I see you over there. Oh, she didn't give me experience. She's not dead. You don't want to come that way. There we go. Now she's mine. <laughs> uh, we might want to go over there and get our arrows. Boop. Is there another one? Oh, there's a crippled biker dude over there. Uh, we're just going to go get our arrows. Oh my god. We don't need to be going over there <laughs> just like that. Uh, that's kind of... Oh no, he's not a biker dude. Okay. Um, so what we might do today, look how dark it is. It's 5 o'clock in the morning. I think it's like after... Uh -huh. It's after 14 day horde madness. I don't like it. Oh, look at all this damage they have done. They busted a hole. Uh, they honestly, that, um, where are you? I hear you, Zombert. Wow. So they broke one fence. I like it when they cross their legs. Oh, you make me get to go pee. So I must cross my legs. Please, um, zombie land is closed for repairs. <laughs> Please, um, tell your friends, put it on your social media and whatnot. So yeah, they did very little damage to uh, this fence. Only, only looks like one fence block got broken. So that's pretty awesome. Very little. They mostly came. No, no, they came from this. This is where the wandering horde came through. Uh, um, so they destroyed most of this stuff. Um, we don't have our scrap metal on us. Um, yeah, wandering horde. Really bad timing. They did the damage over here. We need to get the scrap metal so we can repair those uh, doohickeys. So let's go do that. We had tons of the inner uh, the inner defenses were just demolished. Um, we're gonna need to like upgrade these guys uh, to the reinforced concrete and um, double them up like I was planning on. Uh huh. We needed the scrap metal. Okay. Uh, we're just we're gonna need to go gather some stone. I think today is just gonna be uh reparation day <laughs> but primarily what I need to do is I need to get those um, those blocks oh they're not done alrighty 
Uh, 50 isn't even going to be enough because this is a 9x9 nine nine interior. We're going to be uh, replacing all of these. So 9x9 nine nine minus 1, which is this block here. Because uh, I'll probably go ahead and replace that block under there as well. Uh huh. So that's going to be 80. So uh, let's go ahead and queue up uh, another 30 cement blocks since we know that takes. Uh, let's go ahead and favorite that. That takes it a good minute. We'll get those going. Oh man. All right. Well, let's just go, I believe, um, oh, sorry, my eyes are getting a little bit blurry. Oh, I hear the crackling of somebody. Oh, look. Um, we might also work on getting cobblestone blocks uh, to replace these um, wood frames along this outer ring. It's not necessary. That's just how I like I like to do things. Uh, yeah. But I think there are rocks in this area over here. Possibly some over there. Uh, oh, you know what we might want to do? Oh, there's a ladder gone. I'm going to have to upgrade those. <laughs> uh, but I would like to, before I upgrade those ladders, uh, work on these. Once I get that to uh, the cobblestone at the very least, um, I'm going to start trying to replace these with the iron bars. Because look at that. That's like one breath. And these, these things, uh, you know, I lose several. And it's very risky to... <laughs> to drop down in there. Oh, I came, I was like, what the heck did I come over here for? Um, did we have any? Oh, here's the hobo stew. 47, 24, 20. It doesn't look, I mean, it for it taking 10 rotten flesh, it doesn't look that good. I mean, compared to uh, the sham chowder, which, I mean, the biggest thing about the sham chowder is that 80 health. This one only does 24, so it's more, oh, it's exactly like the meat stew. Uh, interesting. So I guess it just gives you something to do with your rotten flesh. Uh, if you got it, use it, because uh, it does take two corn, two potato, and a water. And the meat stew does take ten meat. So, but you have to cook this for like eight minutes. <laughs> That's a long time. Okay, we do have like a little bit of food and drink on us. What was I thinking? Let's go ahead and put that there. Uh, it looks like, let's go ahead and... Uh, Get up a bandage. Increase our max health. Oh, here it's Zombert down there. Okay. We're also, oh, there he is. And there's a wandering one. Let's go take care of them so they don't destroy. Destroy! I don't know if you can hear my cat. Leo! It's okay! So we had very, very little damage done to this wall, which is so amazing. So that wandering horde came through over here. Uh, honestly, this damage might have been caused by me throwing explosives over here. Uh, so the zombies may not have even done that. Oh wow, look, there's two more over here. Uh, but the 
the horde horde came from this area. I wonder why I'm not getting one hit. Oh, I got the death buff. I got the death buff. As you can see, oh. Oh, he, I thought I got experience for him. I was wondering why the heck is he moaning? I thought he's dead. <laughs> so you can see um, they destroyed this pathway and then not much else. Once that pathway was opened and this pathway, they didn't uh, they didn't go on to the traps at all. So and you can tell they didn't they're not going towards the corner anymore. They're going straight through um, on the outer edge. I guess that's because that's the closest to the central area, which is more than likely where I was. Uh, so yeah, look at all those broken pillars. Uh, those are definitely going to need to be upgraded. Uh-huh. Uh, there's another missing ladder. Oh my goodness, okay. Let's go try to get some more. Oh, look, here comes a wandering horde. Didn't you guys get enough last night? Oh, look, our death bus is gone, yes! Our death bus is gone. That's awesome. So we can kill these with reckless abandon. Oh, I, keep, I backed up just the hair too much. Oh. Oh, ten bullets and that's it. My life is worth more than ten bullets. Oh, yeah, happy happy dance on the shoulder time, bud. Ooh, we're almost left fifty. This should get us a good amount of experience to go through uh, level 49. Another one! What? Oh, I'm out of stamina. Oh, he sort of ducked his head right at the last second, causing me to miss. Okay, I'm out of stamina, so we're gonna boogie over and get this other loot bag. Those don't last very long. Water? Those are supposed to be rare. They're supposed to have good stuff in them. Ten bullets and two water? Not good. Oh, there's another one. Is this a new update? I've never seen three drop that close together. But it's probably going to be crap anyway. Look at that. We, we got almost halfway through the next level. That's awesome. 66 dupes. Okay, we don't want to go towards the desert because we're going to get overheated. I guess if we... I found that you get you get that freaking heat buff no matter what. Even if you have the hat on and all your clothes have heat resist on it. It doesn't matter. You're still getting the, the heat buff. Uh, so that's no good. I should have brought some metal to repair or pick. Um, the reason why I'm going after, actually, we just want the stone. We could go work on that big stone over by the house, but I would, I would really, really need the iron too to help bolster our defenses. Yeah, that zombie's uh, heading over here too. Or it looks, it looked like it. Now that I stopped mining, he kind of stopped. Alright, let's go ahead and deal with him before we get our stamina completely drained. Boom! Oh! 
Oh, he did not die. There we go. That guy uh, sort of turned around, it looks like. But, um, I don't know. Have I looted this house? No, there's trash over here. Some bullet casings, a bird nest with no eggs, and paint. That's like the worst one of these I've ever seen. Um, usually they got some good food in it. Bird nest with some eggs. Uh, apparently all the zombies have eaten the eggs in there. Uh, there's another, there's another rock. Anyways, let's go get the rock. We like our snowberries. Uh, actually, there's a couple of rocks over here. Two or three. There's one there. Actually, there's a way more than two or three. There's four right here. And then another one over there. Looks like a whole bunch more over that way. So I haven't really gone this way. Let's take a little sip of coffee while we're working. I can hear another zombie. Um... Oh, that's that guy. <laughs> he might make it over here eventually. Here, let's see if we can uh, draw him in. Come, come at me, bro. <laughs> I'm ready for you, just not you and 15 of your kind while you're running. Oh, I really thought he would take a more direct approach. Oh my god, how am I missing him? That freaking close. Right in the eye. Right in the eye. It's a whole fun and game so somebody gets shot in the eye. Alright, we're good. Yeah, I would like to do something fun, like go find that supplies, although that probably isn't going to be all that fun. going to be a lot of digging. I don't have uh, any points into that perk that narrows down um, the treasure finding. I really love what they've done with the perk system, though. That it's really, it's really awesome, and it's sort of frustrating. <laughs> it's awesome and frustrating. It's us frustrating, us frustrating, awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> um, that was like a little flag pickup. I think another zombie must have spawned close by. Hey! Snowberry! I know it's used in something, uh... I think it's the snowberry ex- it's the snowberry extract that, that is used, because the only recipe that you have for snowberries is snowberry extract. <laughs> I just don't remember what it was that I saw. I think it, it was either a cooking recipe or a first aid recipe. I don't remember which. It was one of those. Or it could have been like, I don't, I don't know, one of those, yeah, one of those new um, first aid thingies. Uh, the, the drugs. Yeah, I'm sipping on my coffee <laughs> in those little pauses. I need to like get some way to warm my milk up before I put it in my coffee because uh, I like a lot of milk and so it it cools the coffee off to where man it just it gets cold so much faster now. It's 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 horrible. Okay, ooh. Um, we got a thousand stone in the, the furnace 
baking down into uh, cement so that we can make the concrete. Uh, but we need a thousand sand, which I think we have the thousand sand, uh, but we don't have another 2,000 stone. So we need 2,000 stone, plus we need some more stone uh, to go uh, make some more of the cobblestone rocks uh, for repairs on those rocks as well. Don't disturb me while I'm mining. It's very important. We're also going to need tons of wood. Oh look, he brought me to another area that has more rocks. How much iron have we got? 269, awesome. Hopefully that'll make a couple of uh, iron bars for us. I think they take a hundred each, like a bar. Um, or does the bar only take 10? I don't know. They're really expensive though. And I'm gonna need a lot of them. Uh, normally when I play Seven Days to Die, I'm playing with my husband who does like all the gathering. Uh, And I just have tons and tons of iron. Uh, he likes to, to do all the gathering and the farming. And, and he doesn't like going into the buildings uh, and looting. And that's, that's the part that I like the most. I like going into the buildings and looting. And they really did. Uh, they added some new POIs, which I really like. Uh, they're sort of dungeon like they added West, and I really like the quest system. I think it's awesome. Um, I wish that the the ones that the tier ones were limited on um, how far away they were. Like if I wish they would be closer, because you're not gonna have like a mini bike in those first seven days or so. So how are you gonna get like two or three k? <laughs> I started another game um, and oh okay we got a couple of couple of zombies coming oh swing and a miss oh I'm out, I'm out. Woo! why did I miss you bro Yeah, um, sorry if I'm not talking right now. Uh, I'm on medical leave. That's how I can record several episodes a day. I've been taking chemo for the last few months. And, you know, at first it was okay. The first couple of months were okay. The symptoms hadn't started showing, but... Right now I have my feet soaking in water uh, because my hands and my feet are red and raw and burning and uh, peeling like I have a really bad sunburn on them. I think I see a rock over here. Let's head that way. There's another one way over there and a couple more scattered there another one. Let's go get that one first and Oh, there's a gore block. Um You know what we saw um that I wonder can can I destroy this with a normal hit and get stuff? Yes. It's only like the power attacks with that hammer that you don't get items which I guess sort of makes sense because it's probably more than likely destroyed anything it's come into contact with. 
So yeah. So um, another one of the unfortunate side effects of uh, the chemo is um, my eyes are just watering and burning. My nose has been running nonstop for months. Um, but yeah, I had to sort of <coughs> take a second and blink my eyes because uh, they sort of got blurry all of a sudden. Take a sip of coffee while we're getting our stamina back. Oh, we're only like 16 down, so let's hold off on the food. Uh, we're in a, a charred biome. Maybe we need some water. Yeah, I wish the water level was more easily accessed. Yeah, look at that. Um, let's go ahead and have a red tea. Does this still say... Because used to used to get like a coolness buff. And I don't see that anywhere, uh, so that's kind of weird. Uh, but maybe they made it to where the yucca is more of a cooling off thing, which makes sense since you can find that stuff in the desert. It would make sense that uh, the drink that you make out of it uh, would keep you cool and hydrated better because uh, that's the way the people of the desert they're gonna find ways to survive there we go tons of rocks over here because i hadn't been over here look at that do you see that that's like another four five six uh-huh good times uh, yeah we're close to home let's just keep it whole um, I don't know what the fishing weight is for other than to just be broke down. Give me them rocks. Yeah. So tons of rocks over here. I hadn't been over here. It's not that far from the house. Oh yeah. Okay, so we have enough for that batch of cement, which is good. We need more cement. <laughs> Just putting in that floor is 800 cement, so, or concrete. My bad. Cement is what is used in the making of the concrete. <laughs> I always uh, use it as like a general term. You know, it's like Coke. Coca-Cola is generic for soda. I want a Coke. That means I want a soda, not necessarily a Coca-Cola, but, you know, or aspirin. I say aspirin, I mean, you know, some type of pain reliever. <laughs> uh, it means, you know, acetaminophen, ibuprofen, aspirin, aspirin, doesn't matter. It's pain reliever in, in my mind. Oh, look, there's five six stones there's even a seventh one on the other side over there oh boy and there's a stump over there uh you know in my other game i killed a stump and i the very first one i did i got a honey and i was like well it does happen but i have i have um destroyed stumps in this game and i've never gotten a honey so, oh! Oh! I really love the hammer, but it's it's really not fair to them. Okay, what is our our hunger went way down? I'm still only 24. The bacon and eggs does 34. So let's wait a little bit longer. Uh, 
awesome. So, uh, yeah, look at all these rocks. Yummy, delicious rocks that have been over here this whole time. I've just been going underground uh, because that, uh, mainly because I had that gravel right under my base. Uh, and I found nitrate and a little bit of iron. Oh, level 50! What? We gained like two levels on the horde last night. So, yeah, look, at, after we made level 50, this uh, ranged, per, this, the extra ranged perception <coughs> kicked in. So now we're going to be doing 30% uh, range damage. Um, too bad there's like, is there something that gives you strength? I know there's something that gives you agility. Something that gives you int, and then something that gives you uh, faster crafting and a loot bonus, like those lucky goggles. We need to make sure that we put those lucky goggles on. Maybe that's why my loot was crap uh, in those bags, because I didn't have my lucky goggles on. Oh my god. So I really like that too. That was a nice little bonus to get. Um, some stats. I like that they added um, the stat system. Oh, look at that. Oh, I got a honey. Honey, honey, honey. Honey, honey. And I probably should have brought some extra forged iron. Like, you know, I got so lucky in the new game I started. Um, I went to the trader. And the, the trader had a dog that was attacking the outside of him. And I was able to shoot through the bars to kill the dog fairly easily, you know, without, um, <laughs> without worrying about my own life since I was inside the trader building. And there were iron bars so I could shoot through it. Uh, which was nice. And I killed the dog and I was so encumbered. It took me like a, a minute just to get out of the trader and uh, go around, get to the dog and loot him. And there were like three zombies following me. <laughs> I didn't even bother killing. I just ran over there as fast as I could while I was encumbered. Uh, and uh, skin that dog, got the meat, and and while I was walking towards the dog, I saw that right next to the trader, there were two duffel bag type things, or backpacks, um, I don't remember which, I think they were duffel bags, not uh, backpacks. I see you, Mr. Zombie, I'm just uh, being patient and waiting for you to come to But anyway, I looted those duffel bags, and the first one had a level 2 machete in it. And it, was, uh, it wasn't very damaged at all. Oh my goodness, he was on, a, he was on that uh, charred block right there, and he stepped down and I missed. It's weird that this has such a long range. Oh, it's a crawler over there. But I, yet I can still miss so easily with it. <laughs> oh, thank you! Two water and two bullets. Seriously, I don't consider that very good loot. Two bullets, ten bullets, you know, thirty bullets, okay, when we're starting to get the picture, but ten bullets, two, two water. That's not very good food. Um, take a little sip. Yeah, it's not taking very long for our stamina to get up because it's so low. Um, what's it at now? 70? Yeah, I think that's close enough. This is 36. And it's at 34. I think that's close enough. So, level 50, um, I think that was uh, holding us back. Uh, we hit a little uh, 
<laughs> How's our water doing? I really wish there was an easy way to see the water. Is this only 20? It's 24. We're going to use it because it's at 24 down. It probably does more than that, but... Like, the yucca juice, I know, did way more than the 34. Oh, look. Let's see if we can get this rock done, and then we're pretty much going to be done with mine until we get back and repair that pig. Let's go ahead and hit this stump. No honey. No honey. There's even a couple more rocks over there, and another one over here. Oh, let's see. What what did we get over here? Oh, yeah. Look, I was telling you about that the, the bags. That was the first bag. It had a level 2 Machidi that was like um, three quarters of the way. Uh, it had three quarters of its durability left. So it was a really nice find. And then in the second duffel bag, it had a level 2 iron mining pick. And I was like, oh my god, this couldn't have been more perfect. <laughs> I wasn't like that on this game, that's for sure. Uh, more trash. Garbage. You garbage? No, you empty garbage. Yeah, I've looted all of that stuff. Ooh. What about you? Yeah. Looted you too. I loot you and I loot you too. I love looting in this game. Uh, I used to love wrenching, but now it's like, uh, God, it takes so long, and I'm like, eh, I don't want to wrench. It takes too long. Uh, but I have been putting the points into the perk to decrease the, um, the, <clears throat> the time that it takes to, to wrench a car. So that's good, yeah. Uh, let's go down here and we'll, oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. We're gonna need some sand. Yeah, look at that. We got a thousand and forty, um. That's awesome. 876 iron. Did you see that? Let's put these guys away. You don't go in there. Finally got some honey. That was nice. Uh, eggs go in there. We got two whole eggs. Ooh. There's a honey. Some snowberries. Uh, a little bit of ammo. Um, these are going to go downstairs. You can go there and you can go there. Uh, I think... Oh, my eyes are just... In a bad, bad place. Oh, we can put... We got... Blah, 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 blah. We can do the thing with the coal and make the gunpowder. No, we don't want to do the two one. How long is that going to take? Five minutes. It's okay. Uh, actually, it's a little bit longer than five minutes, so... Yeah! Oh, I think we got that in the ammo. <laughs> Look at all the extra nitrate we have up there. And this stuff is going to go... Oh, good. So I can get, like, um, make up, like, 500. That's not the chest I'm looking for. This is not the chest we're looking for. I want to make up, like, 500 of the cobblestone. No, not you. So that while we're down there doing stuff, this stuff will be making and preparing itself. Oh, we got some dukes. So let's throw those in there. 
All right. Let's go down, down, down. Hopefully our blocks will be done. We could dig this up real quick. Uh, shouldn't take very long at all. Didn't take the zombies long to get through that. That's for sure. Okay, let's get... I bet that's only going to get like half of it. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and use... It's not quite ready for the second one, but we'll go ahead and fill it up. Okay, so... Actually, I'm going to put those up. And we'll put these lead fishing weights over there. Put the lead in. Look at that. 876 iron. Yowza! And we got a little bit of lead left. There we go. Um, I guess we can go ahead and um, we're really low on ammo, but we're really low on like um, shotgun ammo. But I don't know that we'll need that. Um, Just go ahead and queue up all that we can. I need to get like one more glass. We have, uh, I think that's five. There we go. Now we can make one jar. Who is bothering me? Got <laughs> five glass in there. Um, yeah, so a hundred and twenty clay. This is 10, so this is like an iron bar is like having 10 forged iron in it. Holy cow. But we need to make them. How many can we make? 31. Oh, but that's because of the clay. So we need to go get some more clay. Oh, we need to get some more clay. We have plenty up here. Um, I was trying to think, how do I want to, um, do the, the outer blocks that have been destroyed? Do I want to just make like 10 or so concrete blocks, wet concrete blocks, which our concrete blocks should be done by now. We have it. Let's go ahead. Um, let's make uh, 15 because I think we had some destroyed on both sides one from the wandering horde uh, and then one from the, the horde horde so we need some clay in there so yeah it takes 20 wow Yeah, we'll let that run out. Um, this probably... Oh, I never turned it on! Are you kidding me? <sighs> oh, that's... Such a... Disappointment. <laughs> I was expecting to have my concrete available. To queue it up in the cement mixer. That's okay. That's okay. We still got stuff to do. Um, do I have my shovel? Yes, I do. We need to dig up that dirt and place these uh, wet concrete blocks around. We also need to go out and repair those uh, Or more fence. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just dig. Uh, it should be two shots. Get some more clay. Um, I would like to prioritize and get this area and the area 
for the immediate outside where the spikes are you can see around um, so that if they do detect me <laughs> uh, um, while I'm down there they can't easily dig down it'll take them a minute it'll make a ruckus I'll be able to have time to come up <laughs> and deal with the problem before they you know get through and eat my face off like they did on the horde night um, I think tonight over the night I'm gonna probably not mine I'm probably gonna try to uh, go through and destroy these blocks uh, on the inside the flagstone ones and uh, replace them with the poles uh, because it's got way more visibility uh, I like it so um, also what I'm probably going to do it's just um, I don't I don't know, do I wait for the cement or just uh, make the flagstone? Because I would like to get the extra layer of defense uh, around the base so that, you know, they can't just break two blocks and get in. So since this area is completely clear to spikes, I'm probably going to do this area first and uh, put... You know, if I do that, they're probably just going to hop up on top of it. So maybe on the outside, I will put them on the top of the block instead of the bottom uh, to sort of prevent them from... I might even need a third one to prevent them from hopping on top of it. Or I might actually have to go all the way up. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's hard to say how they're going to act, uh, so it's hard to say what I need to do. <laughs> oh, it's 13 o'clock. Wow. Time flies when you're mining. I'm going to take a little sip. Before the coffee gets too cold. put a little bit of, um, I put a package of hot cocoa in. I have a really big coffee mug. I broke out the Christmas mug because uh, I didn't like using like a half a package of hot cocoa and then having the, the half sit there. Uh, and maybe I don't get, uh, I accidentally dump too much in and, you know, so I just got a bigger mug and dumped the whole package in and uh, I put a lot of milk in it because um, I like I like milk. Um, I can't drink milk as often as I like because uh, it does upset my stomach. But I can uh, tolerate it in the coffee. You know, it's only like a quarter of a cup or less in my coffee. So. But if I were to drink it, I would get like a big old monster glass and just drink a whole, <laughs> a whole bunch of it. I love milk. I love the flavor of it. It's just a good drink. It's so creamy and yummy. It's sort of sweet, but it's not too sweet. Um, it's perfect. <laughs> milk is the perfect food. Otherwise, why would mommies give it to their babies? Awesome, we're almost done with this. We're in the home stretch. Coming down the outside. Making our way to the corner. It's almost there. The last corner. And we're gonna turn and wait for our stamina. So it looks like, um, It would be been I, I can't believe I haven't found nerdy glasses yet. Uh, that's just freaking 
amazing because I would really like that int bonus because as long as the levels are available I could get um, make better tools without having to spend the points like how crazy is that Chop those boards up too and replace the whole thing. Oh, those look so pretty when they're wet. Look at them, they're all shiny and smooth. Smooth as a baby's bottom. Oh, yeah, them zombies aren't gonna eat my face off quite as easily. As they did last time. <laughs> They're gonna have to put in a lot more effort to be able to eat my face off again. Now I wonder, um, I think it would just be easier to destroy these and replace them rather than upgrade them because I think you have to go through metal and then um, so just just in case I'm pretty sure this is not gonna fall but we're gonna support it anyway because it should actually be supported by the ladder but I don't think the ladder offers very much support There we go. It's because this this whole thing is being supported by all of these walls. Uh, so if I were to break one block, uh, like I had, I had broke all the blocks underneath there. But this is like a solid wall. Oh, I didn't, I didn't crash, crash, smash and crash. Uh, so, I was trying to destroy blocks with the hammer so that I could leave um, leave my axe behind, maybe free up a slot, but we saw that when you power attack with the hammer, you don't always get stuff. In fact, um, <laughs> you more than likely aren't going to get stuff if you smash it with the hammer. We got 1,400 more soil. Um, now these poles I have here are just the right amount to finish off the walls on the inside. And that was uh, 64. No. Yes. Because it was uh, 4, 8, 16. So 16 times 4 is 64. Yeah. It was 64 of them and I've replaced um, 34 because I have 28 left. Actually, yeah. Yeah, it's... Anyway, uh, so I will probably do at least if I can... 64 of the concrete poles. Now, how is this guy doing? He's only got a couple hundred worth of cement for us. We'll go ahead and get that started. Alright. Uh... Still gonna have 854. Oh, let's um, my shovel was kind of jacked now, so let's go ahead and take care of that. There we go. We only have like 361 concrete, but we should have made. Yeah, let's go uh, replace those 
pillar blocks and maybe um, repair the uh, the barbed wire fence fence eye and maybe we'll queue up do I have any extra um, that would be up here uh, yeah there we go uh, we got a fence that's broken maybe we'll just do one so we don't take our slots we'll drop this ammo stuff off Oh, you're in the wrong box. There we go. And we'll drop the soil off. Boink. <laughs> I'm just going in all of the wrong places. All of the wrong places. Awesome. Okay, so we can go out, replace our structure blocks. Oh, what a mess they left me with. And hopefully we'll have enough to, I think the corner ones were the main ones I couldn't reach from the inside. Because yes, I'm scared to go outside. Okay, um, we need a ladder here. Doesn't look like uh, we had as many blocks on this side destroyed. I'm gonna have to get on the inside because I can see the corner, the corner blocks you can't really get from the inside. Uh, they didn't um, do as much damage on that side as I thought. Ah, uh, so we got a couple extra blocks made and that ladder is broken as well. So let's, well, before we place, let's go ahead and get these. Uh, I wanted to upgrade these before, but I couldn't get two of them from the inside. And I had this all blocked off with all the spikes. our corners a little bit less vulnerable. That was a little bit of a lag. Oh, hiccup, thingamajigger. Okay, we also need to look here on the corners and I would like to go all the way up as well on our pillars, on our uh, main support. And I can do those others uh, from up top or inside. Now were those, those didn't look damaged at all. Okay. I'm not going to repair these because I plan on tearing them down anyway. So. You're definitely going to want to upgrade. Um, wow, it looks like only the one, one or two corner blocks took damage. So that was good. Um, we're going to focus our efforts on um, trying to get these blocks replaced with these bars. Because I really like the visibility that I have with the bars over these. Um, they really limited my line of sight. I was really surprised that I could actually swing a hammer and hit a zombie through the holes. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty funny. Um, but yeah. So. I think before we upgrade this, we're probably going to want to upgrade this uh, ground. So from the pillars, that row, all the way in, I want this complete concrete. Um, uh, let's 
So we have 11 concrete blocks. Let's go ahead and uh, like these are spike free. <laughs> this is a spike free zone. So let's go ahead and uh, maybe get those on there. See the the problem I have with doing this is that um, the concrete doesn't mesh with the dirt. Man, I really wish it did because this creates a little hump that the zombies can uh, get sort of stuck on and then their body goes down in there and then it goes poof, which isn't a, as big of a deal as it used to be when, when you could loot the zombies. Uh, now it's not a big deal for their body to go poof. Um, it's one of the reasons why I use uh, upside down spikes because <laughs> when the spikes are right side up, uh, the bodies would go poof automatically. So that was no good. Uh huh. Uh, let's just work down, I guess, uh, as long as they're spike free. We'll replace them as quickly as we can. Okay, upgrade you. I don't want to give them... It looks like... I don't know, but... I, I don't want to give the zombies too much credit, but... It looks like they're... Um, going through... Well... To be fair, they did come from this direction and they hit this corner hard. So this is where they put all of their effort. So as I'm upgrading, what I might what I might do is reinforce the corners uh, at least a couple of blocks, uh, so that no matter what direction they come from, when they make a V line for me, these corners have like double protection. So that would be ideal. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's go and maybe upgrade some. Let's go on the outside so we don't get exploded. Explodiated. Uh, oh, we do have spikes that we can replace with and we probably need to make some more because we have tons of spikes missing. I think we got a couple of barbed wire fences missing. So let's just make like 40. That'll still leave us plenty. Um, this one I don't think is taking very much damage. Let's go ahead and bump it up. Because this wasn't um, uh, the target of the main attacks yesterday. Uh, this one is like completely full, un unharmed. Oh, and we need our our one wooden fence for here. Um, I don't believe I want it turned around that way. It's just the ones on the corner that we want facing out, and. Looks like we're missing two barbed wire fences. There. So those are making. Yeah, um, I'm surprised they didn't, I guess, uh, take more damage. And it did. That's pretty awesome. There we go. Okay, we gotta wait 14 more seconds. <laughs> before we can uh, place those guys. How are we doing over here? I didn't put any extra on the inside. Uh, they don't appear to be going for the inside. There we go. Alright, now we get the spiky boys back out. 
Awesome. None in there. Uh, it looks like it looks like one's missing, but it, I think they're just turned different. Uh, I didn't have one there because there was a bomb there and there's a bomb over in that corner too. So maybe we'll go ahead and make another one and plop it in that hole now that it's empty. There we go. And I don't know what's causing that hiccup. There we go. Sorry. Nose is running again. Usually when it does that, it means, um, uh, yeah, that one's empty because there's a bomb there. Uh, so we're just missing a spike here. Boink. Um, maybe repair that one up. I think I might, uh, go ahead and put another... <laughs> Another row of spikes. Yeah, uh, oh look, there's, there was a, a trap there. I mean, a bomb there. And it's gone now. Um, it looks like I may need to come up with something to do once once they hit uh, that part right there, maybe we'll do some sort of drop trap with, um, now that we're 50, I think we can do some of the advanced uh, electronics. Um, we'll have to see. Maybe we'll put some dart traps or blade traps in there. Ooh, we're missing. Yeah, this is where the main horde came through. So how many? We're missing one, two, three. On this side. And a lot of them are jacked. But yeah, they just destroyed in a straight line. And went straight through. And uh, a lot of these are pretty jacked. So it's not that um, this is ineffective. Oh look, I just repaired the ground. Um, I'm trying to repair the th things. They did do a little bit of damage on the inside, but that might have been from <laughs> that might have been from me throwing throwing bombs around. Which I didn't get to do. They broke in so fast. Uh, yeah, this one's missing three as well. So let's get those replaced. Lickety split. You can sort of tell by looking at them if they're broke. You can see the cracks on the, none of the inside over here. Okay. Um, I don't think we're going to do, I think we started over here. So I think we're done. Yeah, we started over here. Hey, I missed that one. It was damaged. Awesome. Okay, so we got it. Uh, I don't want to replace these around here because I want to try to upgrade those and it'll be a lot easier if there are no spikes there. Uh, so, I'm, I'm sort of thinking, man, I just was not prepared Let's see, what, what is the game stage at now? It's only 81 after three deaths. It was 82 before. Uh, 
So it only <laughs> decreased by one. Uh huh. One that I missed. Sort of hard to get the. I think that's the ground block. Yeah. So I was thinking either I could line the inside here with more landmines, which I would much rather use my gunpowder for ammo right now. I'm completely out. Um, oh look, we got a little bit of damage done right there. So very little damage done to uh, these fence or the doors. All of it was spent going through our traps. So I definitely think this whole concept is of zombie land is working. So I'm trying to think, do I want to dig down? Do I want to make myself, I think it would uh, make me vulnerable to, to have it down, but we could seriously reinforce these pits put some traps in them. Let's look at that. Um, when do we get, is it advanced engineering? Blade and dart traps is advanced engineering and electric fences. <sighs> the dart traps were pretty cool. They, they won't take damage. I can place them in such a manner as they will be protected and they could shoot through arrow slits. So that would be nice. Ish. And it looks like they don't have, um, you know, the, the upside, the, the spikes that you can flip upside down anymore. The con, the conical <laughs> shaped spikes. Um, yeah, so, but, oh man, level seven, I could totally get that now. The yeah science, we have four points, but I definitely would like to, is that int seven? Okay, we're going to do int seven because, um, The raining hellfire from above just was not enough. We have to get more prepared for these guys because that this is way more than I'm used to. Uh, so we want to, ooh, we can craft a marksman rifle, but we don't need to do that um, because we already have a level six marksman rifle. <laughs> but it would be nice to have backup, uh, like in case we get murdered in our base again repeatedly. Um, so that I can go up top, get some more guns, go back down and start shoosting again. That would be nice. Uh, so let's definitely put the point there so we can make the, the dart traps and stuff. Look, you can't make a nail gun till four. Ooh, look at that. Auto turrets, chainsaw, and augers on level five. But you gotta be in level 10. And isn't that a hundred? Or 90 or something like that. Oh, it's a level 100. Whew, wow. I wonder what the level cap is. I don't know. <laughs> is there a level cap for this um, version? And I'm just trying to think. What is more beneficial when they're on my base? Them taking the damage or slowing them down? When we're talking the horde, there it's going to be at night. They're going to be running. So it might be more beneficial to slow them down with these uh, spike traps. I mean, the, the barbed wire fence, then the spike traps. Uh, they're like completely ignoring these bits of barbed wire. Those have been there since, you know, the first horde. They haven't gotten destroyed. And that was like their, oh crap. I 
missed. <sighs> I hope she did not see me. She didn't scream. No bag. <laughs> I did get an arrow. Okay. I don't see anybody. Oh. The last time she saw me scream, bad things happened. Or she saw me and screamed. Awesome. Okay, so... Let's go check on our cement that's under there. Uh, maybe we can make some of it up and continue with our upgrades. Um, we have the outer defenses up, which is good. Oh, this looks so good now that it's dry. It's nice and smooth. Okay, we, it looks like we got another 500 we can make up. I know it's ish. Uh, every 500 stone is 100. So I'm probably going to go ahead and just wait for that to hit 500. I, I'm kind of anal about it, I know. I'm weird. I like it to be round numbers 100. It's easier to, to know how much sand I need. Speaking of which, I need to go get more sand. Um, well, I'm scared to go over there at night, though, because it's not really fortified. So if the zombie detects me, I'm really close to the surface. They could just go through that wood in like two seconds flat. That's exactly what they did on Horde Night. They went through the wood uh, in no time. I mean, I didn't even hear them break it. How about you? Uh, yeah, we already, we only have 192 left. Um, that could be 19 more blocks. <laughs> that we upgrade over there. Let's do it because, I mean, we have to. We have to do it. Um, yeah, definitely want that outer part upgraded to concrete so they don't just go boom bust a couple blocks and they're in my base uh if they just if they detect me down i don't think that that is very likely um just on the everyday nights um like while i'm working because um they're going to have to go through my defenses and they're going to make noise um, and I'll be able to come up before they get through. Hopefully that's the plan is that when I hear them going through uh, the stuff, uh, the spikes and uh, I can get up and deal with them. Uh, now it is 18 o'clock. Wow. Time is just going by so fast when I, there's so much work I need to do uh, to reinforce this base to get it ready for the next horde. I'm already getting ready for the next horde and I just had the last one. Is that not crazy? Okay. Um, we got plenty of time to make those up. Uh, We'll just need to, I need to check back. So as soon as these get done, I need to queue that other 500 up. Actually, it's four. So that's going to be like 200 in there. So that's going to take it a minute. Uh, I might go ahead and do, since that one corner is completely cleared of everything, I might just go ahead and dig up that one corner instead of doing around the edges. 
this corner here. Just go ahead and dig it up because there should be enough. There's nine in the middle, three, so that'd be 12. Oh, getting a little uh, lag hiccups there. What is it, F8? Yeah, ever since um, I figured out that my desktop resolution was what it was the seven days that I was defaulting to, I changed my desktop resolution to the 1920 by 1080. And that has helped my frame rates a lot. So that was very good. Uh, because then it just automatically detected it. I get much better frame rates than the 2500, whatever it was, uh, resolution. I don't know. I I don't generally need to do anything crazy like that. I think Windows just uh, said, hey, you can be at this resolution. So we're just going to put it there. I don't know if that's a setting that I put to or if it was just something automatically assigned by Windows. But I did change it. So it's uh, I'm getting much better uh, performance for seven days to die. Woo! Oh, that's a horde. Let's see if we can get through. Hello! Sorry, zombie lands. Uh, closed for repairs. Uh, right now, we just have the one ride. And it's called Time of Time! It's a flaming ride of doom. I hope you enjoy it. Because it's so the only ride available at this time. Uh, no money back. Uh, guaranteed. <laughs> if you're not satisfied, we will not give you your money back. Sorry. Sorry. Um, the rides were really meant for kids, so you're adults now. Suck it up. Looks like they broke the trim on that. Once again, they send me a late horde. Aw, oh, man, he took one right to the kisser. And still didn't go down. Lady, you're getting too close. See how far away they can be and I still hit them? Yet, I can miss them by a fraction of an inch over the top. <laughs> it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Okay. Hey, I'm not gonna say no to all this experience. This is easy experience. Tons of it. Hey, don't ignore my hammer, it's rude. Oh, I can't wait to get into um, some of the traps and the electricity. We're gonna need uh, generators and stuff like that to run the traps. Gonna be sweet. Okay, so we got that corner done. Look at it. It's beautiful. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do this part. I'm pretty sure that trap isn't gonna go because it's being supported by the. Oh, it did. I thought it would be supported by that. That's okay. It's just one trap. Um, oh no, we're out of, we're out of the concrete. Snickerdoodles. <laughs> uh, uh, in case you're wondering, snickerdoodles is a curse word. They're really good, but around, oh, I forgot that was there. 
Around here we um, substituted uh, like ice cream and cookies as swear words because my daughter is type 1 diabetes and it was, uh, you know, it was kind of funny. Uh, just to ease, <laughs> lighten the mood a little to say um, sweets or swear words. There we go. So it's almost 20 o'clock. Uh, I'm probably going to go out and try and get some more wood since we only have a thousand left. Uh, so we're going to call the episode here and we'll pick it up again at four o'clock. Uh, I'll have a little bit more time to gather materials. I didn't last night because the episode didn't end until like after two uh, in the game time and then I started at four. So it was very little time to do anything, but I should have more stuff gathered for next time and I hope you join me uh, anyway thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to like subscribe uh, comment in the the under there <laughs> stuff uh, anyway we'll see you next time bye bye